For adherent cells, remove the spent medium from the flask using a sterile pipette. Rinse the cells with a balanced salt solution, such as DPBS. Make sure to use a salt solution without calcium and magnesium, as these may inhibit your cell dissociation reagent. After rinsing the cells, remove the salt solution. Each time you aspirate liquid off the cells, place the next solution on quickly. Add your cell dissociation reagent to remove cells from the plate. Use just enough solution to cover the cell sheet. Consider using a gentle cell dissociation reagent such as Triple Express to avoid damaging your cells during dissociation. Make sure that the solution completely covers the cells. You may want to tap gently on the plate to help the cells detach. Use a microscope to confirm the cells have released from the flask. They will start to appear round as they release from the substrate and will move or slide when the flask is tilted. Complete dissociation is necessary. Do not leave the dissociation reagent on too long, especially if you're using a reagent other than triple. You may choose to manually break up lingering clumps by repeatedly pipetting warmed medium over them. A single cell suspension is important to achieve an accurate cell count. If you are using trypsin, the collection medium will need serum or you'll need to use a trypsin inhibitor to inactivate the trypsin. If you're using triple, inactivation is achieved by dilution alone. No serum is needed. Transfer the cells to a conical tube and centrifuge to remove any residual dissociation reagent. The speed and time of centrifugation will vary based on your cell type. After centrifugation, you should have a well-formed pellet. Remove the medium from the centrifuge tube with a pipette and discard the medium into a waste container. Try not to disturb the pellet. Resuspend the pellet with warm, complete growth medium. Gentle pipetting will disperse the cells to ensure a homogeneous solution of single cells.